Hi guys, it's me, Melissa Gorga. Happy holidays. I mean, what better than to make cookies, right? For the holiday season, but not just any cookie. We need to make the best cookie, which is of course a sprinkle cookie. I mean, ugh, who eats anything else? But we're making them all with ShopRite today and I'm so excited. Um, all of my favorite brand, bowl and basket, have it everywhere in the home. So let me show you exactly how I do this. Okay, so first step, we're gonna combine all of our dry ingredients. We got flour right here. Okay, we're just gonna put that right into the bowl. Nicey nice. We have baking powder. We're gonna pop that in. And salt. A little salt. And then we're gonna whisk it all up together. Easy breezy. Okay, so our dry ingredients is ready. We're gonna move on to one of the best parts, the butter. Okay, so I have my stand mixer here. I still love the old school one that your mother used to use, you know, like the hand mixer when you pop the two little things on. I like to use that, but it's okay to use either. And my little tip for the butter is if you know you're gonna bake cookies throughout the day, if you can leave it out a little bit, that way it softens. So it's a little bit easier when you're dropping it in here, but it is better to leave it out. Just let it get a little soft. Okay, and then we are gonna mix that for three minutes. Okay, so now that the butter has been in here for like three minutes, by the way, this is like my dream to do all of this baking. I'm officially a baker. We're gonna pour in a little sugar, okay? We're also gonna let that beat for three minutes, but you want it to go evenly. So you're gonna pour it in nice and slow while the butter is still moving around in there so we get it nice and even. And then let that go for another three minutes. Easy breezy. Okay, so this has been on for three minutes, so we're gonna turn this off now. Okay, we're gonna grab our egg and our vanilla. It's always best to have all your ingredients to be room temperature. It's always the best way that they're all just the same temperature. Just crack that egg. We don't want any shells. Okay, we're gonna pour that right in. And we're also gonna pour in our vanilla. Grab that right here, and pour that in. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it back on until it's all blended really well and smooth on the lowest setting. Okay, so we're ready to add in our dry ingredients now. Quick little tip, make sure you give it a little whisk before you put it in because you don't wanna make a mess or it will get all over. So just be careful when you're putting it in. We don't like messy kitchens, especially in the Gorga household, I can tell you that. So we're just gonna get all of the dry ingredients in there. And once we get it all inside, and put that to the side, now comes the best part. Sprinkles, we officially are gonna make them sprinkle cookies. Okay, so I have our rainbow sprinkles from Bowl and Basket. We are gonna use the whole entire thing. This is when the magic happens. Perfection. Okay, so this is all done. We're gonna turn it off. And you're gonna need to chill your dough for a minimum of two hours. I actually already chilled another batch of mine right here, but you can leave it in the fridge for a couple days. It actually makes the dough easier to work with. Um, and also, if you like to bring sprinkle cookies to a holiday party, you can have it prepped and ready for the day you're gonna go. You can just bake them and take them with you to everyone's house because isn't that what everyone does? So we are ready to scoop our dough. Okay, we have our baking tray right here. And I have a really cute little cookie scooper. We grease it too, so that way it's easier when you're scooping it on. And the reason we're using this is so that all your cookies come out the same size. You know, like there's nothing better than holiday, like Christmas cookie tradition. I used to do it with my cousins and my grandmother. Every Christmas Eve, we would bake so many cookies and my sisters still do it all the time. Sometimes without me because I'm always busy and I get very insulted when they do baking without me. But today I'm baking without them, but it's to show all of you beautiful people. Um, you know what else I do for Christmas Eve? I make a sprinkle cookie cocktail 
yum. It is so good. I like dip the rim um, in some really cute like white icing and then I dip it in the sprinkles. Cocktail inside, delish. But see, this is coming perfectly. They're all coming the same size. They're ready to go. I have my oven, it's preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, you're gonna bake them just eight to 12 minutes. Really easy and quick. Okay, the house smells amazing. I think they're done. We're gonna grab them out right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. They smell so good. Check those babies out. You're gonna put them on a cooling rack for like five minutes and when they're done, this. How beautiful are these? You have all your sprinkle cookies for the holidays. I really do hope you guys have the most amazing holiday. I'm wishing you so much love from me and from ShopRite. And if you love this recipe, make sure you like and subscribe for more. Happy holidays.